guys I just had this grasshopper winged thing jump through my window whilst I was in the middle of recording the beginning of this video and because it scared the living crap out of me I had to re-record this yay yo guys my name is Katie and welcome to another video and you're probably surprised to see this sort of video because me and TBRs don't usually work which is why I haven't done it in a while I just thought I would do a mood reading sort of thing but then I ended up in a reading slump last month so I really, really wanted to do a TBR video again and set myself some books to make myself read books and hopefully the way I've formatted this is going to work so I've decided to read five ebooks that I've got for review two physical books that I've got for review four physical books that I own one physical book that I'm going to pick out of my TBR jar to read so that creates a little bit of mystery and it makes it a little bit more exciting and the other books are just books that are in my currently reading pile which are mentioned in my reading slump video and hopefully each month I can finish at least one of those books every month and eventually get that pile down to zero. So I'm now going to reveal to you the books that are on my TBR pile for the month of September. So here are the five ebooks that I'm going to read for review. First book I've actually already finished and I did have a physical copy arrive in the post just a couple of days ago. So I started reading this straight away and I finished this just today this video which is Wednesday so this book was just epic and amazing and beautiful and just it was so so good so already that is one book off of that pile the next ebook that I plan on reading is called The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black these two amazing authors have teamed together to create this book and I'm excited to see what those two have made together and I just I want to read this really badly because I'm just so so intrigued. The next ebook I plan on reading is Day 21 by Cass Morgan, the sequel to The 100, which I'm also planning on reading this month. I'm a little bit obsessed with the TV show The 100 at the moment. I only started it the other night, got a bit obsessed, ended up watching it to like 2 o'clock in the morning and I even stayed up last night to watch even more episodes. I've nearly, nearly finished season one already. I'm so obsessed and I just wanted to read the books to just, oh, just, I'm, I'm just, I'm so obsessed. So I have to read these books. I'm so happy that I've got the sequel to it as well, which comes out at the end of the month and I can't wait to just marathon both of those books. So I just, I, I can't wait. The next ebook that I plan on reading is Made For You by Melissa Marr. I love the cover of this book, it's really beautiful and I'm really excited about this one. It sounds really, really intriguing and the sort of book that I know that I'm going to love and I can't, I just, I can't wait to read this book. And the final ebook that I plan on reading this month is Balance Keepers by very own Lindsay Cummins and she is a fantastic author, fantastic person. I love the murder complex so I'm just really interested to see what it, she's going to bring in this novel. It looks really adventurous and just fiery eating and yeah I'm, I'm excited. The two physical books that I have got for review that I am going to read this month is going to be Red Rising by Pierce Brown and this I am so excited for it. It's a dystopian novel. It's had fantastic reviews already and I'm really excited about this one. I just I want to see what's going to happen in this book and I, I'm honestly looking forward to it. And the other book is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. I've had this for a while and this is my fantastic signed copy and I, I can't wait to read this book because I loved Throne of Brass so much. It was so epic and I, just, I can't wait to get around to reading this so that I can read air of fire so I need to read this I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen next because oh, the first book was just simply amazing the four physical books that I've chosen to read this month are the 100 by Cass Morgan as you can see I have already started this book I am 28 pages in and it's really really good so far I'm just oh just mm, I mean this is TV show cover edition but I actually don't care because I love the TV show so much and this book is already fantastic already it's only just begun but I can tell that 
something is coming in this book and it's just it's really interesting to just see it in a physical format so I can't wait to finish this but I'm, I'm obsessed with this book already. The next book that I plan on reading this month is a book that I keep on hearing about so I have to read it and that is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo and this is the first book in the Grisha and just I can't wait to read this because I've heard literally nothing but good things about this book. I know it's a fantasy novel but I'm in the mood for these sort of books at the moment so it's my time to read this to see what all the fuss is about and I hope that I will enjoy it as much as everyone else. Another book that I've heard absolutely fantastic things about that I do want to read is actually quite short and I want to see the movie to this and that is The Packs of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky and I just heard that this is just a fantastic book. I've had this for a while and I keep on looking at it so I was like well as it's a short book it shouldn't take me long to read and hopefully I do enjoy this as much as everyone else. And the final physical book that I've decided to read is A Legend by Rue Lu. I've heard a lot of people talk about this book lately and I have had this as well. I think I bought this last year and I don't know why I haven't got around to reading this yet because I've had the trilogy. It's just fantastic and I need to read this. I'm back into dystopians again and fantasies again so now is the time to read this and I'm actually really really excited. Now the exciting moment. I'm going to pick a book out of my TBR jar. As you can see it's very very full up. I'm surprised I can fit any more bits of paper in this book but I own a lot of books which is really embarrassing but I'm excited all the same so it's time to ooh, pick a book. Just gonna get my hand in here. I really don't know. Oh my god I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Okay so this is if I can get my hand back out again and try not to drop any bits of paper at the same time. But I'm gonna go for, get off me, this book here. The book that I've chosen is Changeling by Philippa Gregory, so I'm going to go fetch that. And here it is, in its beauty. And I actually purchased this when I first met Ben from Benjamin of Tomes, and he told me this book is amazing, so he made me buy it, and I still haven't got around to reading this. So maybe this is a sign I need to read this, but like the cover to this and I am honestly I'm excited because fantasy yeah bring it on and as I said the last books that I plan to read at least one of each month are my currently reading poll which you can see at the moment I'm just showing you a quick overview of all of the books so it's probably going to be beautiful creatures as that is one that I started reading again just last week and I haven't got long of that left. So Beautiful Creatures is probably going to be that. So guys, that is the end of my September to be read video. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you would like to read any of these. What are you planning on reading for the month of September? How many books you plan to read? What are you currently reading at the moment? I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Give me a like, that would absolutely make my day. Just keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!